it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on MAFM V2. So, we got all these uh, headland rows done here. Ah, uh, shoot. Planters are up. Great. What? Okay, maybe now they'll plant. There we go. So, got all the end rows done, and we are now working on uh, the up and down passes, side to side passes, whatever you want to call them. Um, we can only run 7 miles an hour, <clears throat> otherwise, it skips. Uh, I did fix a couple of the corners uh, when I was turning and whatnot, so we're all set now. So, we're gonna go ahead and get planting get this field done I doubt we'll get it done in this video but but uh yeah so we'll just kinda see what happens here I guess See how we uh, end up. Oh, I was gonna turn GPS lines on again. That's what I was gonna do. These are really nice planters. I like them. Can't really go fast, but when you got three of them, you can really knock out some ground. And really, you could even hook like five of them together and more. And you could. You could hook a lot of these things together. I mean a lot. I mean, you could hook five, you could hook three, you could hook seven, nine, eleven, however many you really want to pull. And however many you can handle with your tractor too. Which, you know, if you put a lot on there, you'd probably want to run like a magnum or something, but maybe, I don't know. But you could really cover some ground if you really really wanted to of course I don't want to keep these forever and use these and just buy more because that would really suck but eventually we will have an air seeder <laughs> something that'll handle a lot nicer so yeah, I'm down to uh, two videos to record this week after this one, so it's only Thursday, and I'm hoping to get everything recorded today and edited and uploaded and whatnot, so. Going to rock and roll through some stuff here. Definitely slow, but gotta get the job done. Don't need to be rolling 20 miles an hour or anything like that. Of course, we wouldn't be rolling that fast, but. Eventually we'll have to get a slurry tanker and we can sell our slurry. Get something small. Let's just see what we got going on with our cows here. Uh, of course the productivity hasn't kicked in. 
so I guess really I don't think anything's changed since the last video. Um, let's get the time sped up a little bit. Let's go to the next hour or something. See if that resets it. No. Which, actually, we do have this, too. That we can bring up, so. I keep forgetting about that. Loose main cab planting for those that uh, like it. These things actually have like a dirt skin on them. That or else they just have a white cloudy look to them. I don't know. I think they have a dirt texture though. Might have a small washable texture on them. He doesn't want to open the window while I'm driving. There we go. Get some fresh air inside the tractor. So we're getting pretty close to uh, having one section of the field done. So that's good. So yeah, after this video, I just have to record Sunday's videos, uh, the mapping video and the uh, My Summer Car video. Which I've actually gotten a lot done on my map. Um, I've added... I had to redo a bunch of stuff um, because I my files got corrupted somehow. And so then, um, um, uh, I lost a bunch of stuff, uh, I hadn't backed up for a while, so I, uh, I have to redo, I had to redo, uh, a whole bunch of fields that I did, and then I have to redo the livestock barn and the sugar beet piler. Um, which is okay because I kind of want to move them into it. I kind of want to move them around a little bit uh, from where I had them. And I also need to add crop production services, uh, which I had forgotten about. Uh, I forgot that I needed to add that momentarily. So, got to add the, uh, got to add an area to buy seed and fertilizer. 
Otherwise, I don't think you'll be going, getting very far in your work. Uh, I have been working a lot on some mods as well. Uh, I want to get a bunch of stuff done uh, for equipment to use when starting on it. And really a lot of the stuff that I'm using is from FS13 or FS11 and stuff like that. Because um, there's a lot of good stuff there. So. Lots of good stuff. So we're rolling right along. <sighs> Slowly but surely knocking this field out. <laughs> We'll get a good majority of it done in this episode, and then uh, the next episode we'll be able to finish this field and start on sunflowers. M opens up the fertilizer area and N opens up the seed. Yep, these definitely have a dirt skin on them. I can see it like back here especially. You can see it's kind of got a little bit of dirt. set up for. I was trying to figure out what the heck my joystick's set up for. And how it's set up for it. Wasteland 2 models. Okay, I really don't care. Okay, go the heck away. That's annoying. Really doesn't uh, bother me that whatever models are on sale now. <laughs> All I want is pick up some farm equipment. Which I have found actually like three thousand dollars worth of stuff on turbo squid that I would like to buy um, I added everything up and it was like three thousand dollars but obviously I'm not gonna buy it all like right now but there are some things I'd like to buy you know sooner and some things later I did find a model on there very similar to my pickup uh, only difference is that one um, has the power windows and stuff, um, and mine doesn't, but then of course the paint job is different, so I'd have to change that, and then, I don't know what the interior's like, they don't have any pictures of it, um, for all I know it maybe doesn't even have an interior, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so... It could just not even have an interior. I don't know. I could see the seat, but, you know, maybe that's all they have a seat and a steering wheel. They don't have anything else put out. I don't know. And it is actually a different year, but it's the same model. You know, like it looks exactly the same, so. Not, uh, not too much of a difference. I 
There are a few nice grain carts on there as well that I'd like to get. And just a bunch of stuff that I'd like to buy sometime in the future. Alright, so now we're starting in on uh, the other section. And yes, I am just going to plant right over top of the uh, waterway. Okay. So we're about halfway through the video and we're almost done with the first section. Yeah, definitely a dirt skin. I can see it now, really. It's just like kind of a cloudy dust kind of look, which is actually kind of neat. things are actually aligned under here unless they're not supposed to be on this but I would assume that uh, the closer is supposed to be like right behind the things I don't know maybe I don't know what I'm talking about I have no idea <laughs> be our last pass where for the majority of it we're in this field next one we should be able to finish off this section section not field section keep wanting to say field About the time that we're harvesting on this map, we should be planting on county line. <laughs> well, yeah, about there, because here we've got to fertilize yet, and there we have two more fields, well, three fields left to put anhydrous down on, but, oh well, yeah, we should be about maybe halfway through harvest on here when we start planting. Before, when we were still on Clover Creek, it was kind of planting and planting, tillage and tillage, harvest and harvest, selling and selling, <laughs> a lot of the same. See our tractor with the fertilizer spreader sitting over there. Our uh, 1570 Cavern Cavernland uh, spreader. That things are just a sitting and a waiting, ready for, ready to get in the field and start spreading. But what we'll do is uh, we will fast forward time enough to go one growth stage, 
after all the planting's finished and then we'll then we'll fertilize and then well or maybe not I don't know I haven't decided yet we'll do something that's all I know heck we might even be finished with this field in this video almost Let's see, because what do we got left? Nine minutes. Hmm. Well, we'll see where we're at when the timer goes off. Maybe we'll just finish finish this field in this video. And then the next video we can work on... The next two videos we'll work on sunflowers. Two, possibly three. Because be, there will be one video... It'll take about a video to do all the headlands and then be able to do a little bit of the passing, the passes, a little bit of the ups and downs there. And then the second video will be a good portion of the field. And then, if not all of it, and then the third video will either, you know, then if there is a third video, it'll be to just finish up a little bit and then start fertilizing. So got about a week week of planting left let's pick that little bit up here uh, let's go down over here figure out how this end's gonna work yeah we're gonna have to go back up a little bit that's uh, annoying Heck, we're even going to have enough seed to finish this, I think. Oh, well, no, it'll be pretty close, but... I definitely think the seed usage is a little bit off on this planter. Because we should have been refilling a couple of times in real life, I'm pretty sure. And let's just go get the truck because I'm kind of curious to see whether or not this thing's going to fill these planters. Because I'm not really sure if it will or not. So let's go find out. If it does, we'll just top these things off. Fill them up. Get them full. Yes, it will. Sweet. Okay. I'll have to set this to go kind of straight back. I can do it this way. I was going to try and back in between those two planters, but... I see I can do it this way, and this way is a little bit safer, I think. Ah. Dang it. There we go. Boy, this front planter was the emptiest of them all. That's kind of the annoying thing about it. Is that it, uh... You know, you don't... You don't get to see... Like, you know, they don't all run the same. And you kind of have a difficult time figuring out what your levels are in each one until you're planting all of a sudden one of them stops oops we need cruise control one <coughs> so it'll kind of all be the same for now until we do this little pass and they'll kind of change which they'll really really they'll change a lot but just got to kind of keep an eye on it make sure that you notice if one of them stops planting and not like it stops planting here and then I'm over there and oh that one stopped because <laughs> that would really suck that'd be really annoying which I have done that before I have done that oh, we got some area to clean up down here
let's try and get this cleaned up a little bit. see if one planter will be able to plant this section. No, not quite. Okay, we'll just get on our GPS line, I guess. I do really, really like this tractor, though. I have spent a lot of time around a 1086. We've got two. Two, I think. If we don't have not two now, we used to have two. Because I know one burnt. One got burnt up. Because we had two tractors that burnt. One was completely burnt, one was salvageable. The, uh,. The 1086 was not salvageable. That thing completely burnt. That's one big rusted chunk now. Um, and then there was also a 2290 that burnt. But that only burnt from the front end back to the cab. And my uncle, my uncle salvaged that. He has it running now. <clears throat> Put the loader back on it too and all good to go again which we have two of those as well one of them has duels and usually runs the baler and the other one has the loader and that one that one sometimes runs one of the double mowers I think it did last year or the year before or something like that and we did have a 1370 on the uh, V rake for a while last year, until we got the some uncle got his Deutz tractor running again, and he put that on it, which is what ran it the last time that tractor ran. But then something happened to it, not last year, the year before, and it sat all winter, or you know, it sat the rest of the year, and then all through the winter, and then. Um, they pulled a pulled the 1370 out of the trees, put a new battery in it, all new oils. Uh, they you know like they did an oil change on it, put new hydraulic oil in it, and I can't remember if they had to drain the fuel or not. I don't think so, but fired right up. So it did have a, a bit of a leak. So when it was running the rake, when you're driving down the road. Either your wheels would be kind of going down slowly, or you'd kind of be folding out, so you'd have to sit there and hold it. But that ran it for a while, and then they got the Deutz running and put that on it again. And the V-Rake we've got is kind of like the one that uh, we're using here, just not quite the same. It's probably like an American version of that one or something. I don't know. pick this stuff up three passes after this one and we're done let's get it on the line here yeah we're uh we're just gonna finish it in this video because we got only a few more passes left no point in uh, saving that for another video Let's make this one a little longer and finish it up. So 
let's say about it took about maybe 45 minutes to an hour to plant this field we'll say because the last video a portion of it was on here it did take a while to get to a planter that worked uh, since the big John Deere didn't work for us I know one thing for sure when we unhook this it's just gonna be sitting and they're all gonna stay hooked up because there's no way I'm gonna sit and hook all these things back together that's way too big of a pain I don't know if uh, we can fold those markers in or not markers but the extensions in and they won't like freak out the planters or something I don't know because maybe the collisions will like freak out and it'll fly across the moon or something who knows alright we're down to two more passes finally getting done planters are just going to stay this way because I don't have a pressure washer I don't think so it's going to kind of have to stay that way I want to see something oh that hydraulic doesn't even move I was wondering if that hydraulic there like if it moved or anything but it does not seem to move that's that looks like that's what would pull these up, but I guess it just wasn't scripted that way. went and uh, recorded yesterday's video again um, or Friday's video I uh, fired up 15 and was looking at my uh, notepad here with the stuff for the week and I'm like oh never mind I don't need this game I got that video recorded all right let's go to 13 then and so got this fired up and ready to go and now we're rocking and rolling Trying to trying to avoid that. It's kind of hard to avoid that, though. I guess Not the way that uh, I guess I probably should have done like a third headland or something, to give us even more turning room. But uh, we're all right. Maybe we'll keep that in mind on the next field or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess. See what happens, and whatever happens, happens. That kind of didn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. <laughs> One pass to go, and we are finished. Turning around for the last time on this field. Well, 
while planting anyways. Of course we're going to turn, but <laughs> it won't be quite the same way. It won't be uh, turning for another pass. So let's go ahead. Bring up GPS. Get a screenshot. Finish this pass. And we're done. Alright guys, so that will do it for this video. Um, we'll just get the planter moved over to that field in preparation for the next video. And then uh, be all ready to go and plant the last field. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the... Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my upload schedule. As well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys. As always, we'll see you tomorrow.